it's time for a comeback. So yeah, TXT is finally having a comeback. And it's a Minnesota again? It's called Minnesota Free Tomorrow. So exciting. <laughs> also because Minnesota's are kind of my favorite albums by TXT, so it's gonna slay. I know it's gonna slay. And the packaging looks slay and everything looks slay, so like, let's go. Also, bought this the other day. It is used, but it hasn't really been used in concerts or anything, so it's basically brand new. And I really wanted it before you can, can't get it anymore because of the new version. So yeah, finally have a light stick. Time In time for the comeback. Yeah, so this is just a little tangent. Um, I wanted to show how I will set up for this comeback. So I collect uh, OT5 for album cards and for everything else, pops, fan signs, whatever. I try and get Yunjin as early as I can, mostly for selfies, but also not everything anymore. Like it's hard to collect everything. I can't do it. So mostly this is gonna be me looking through the album cards. So that's why we have Reverse here. So we can get an idea on what's in the album. Very exciting stuff. Grab yourself something to drink and a snack. I have this and of course, Pepsi Max, because that's the only thing I drink. It's not really a new formula of album. It's basically like Temptation, uh, again, in the way that they are doing photo cards. Let me show. So we have the normal photo book version. Let's just take the set here. Don't really need to look at the fan sign thing. So this is how the album looks. These are the photo book versions. They are free as usual. That's very standard for TXT. Here you can see the actual album. It's so pretty. Like you can't tell me that looks absolutely gorgeous. So it's like holographic and there's like a ribbon bookmark. Slade, they slayed this one. Freefall was, it's not the best. It was pretty. I just hated that you had to like rip it open. Temptation is peak. And we might be hitting peak again with this one. As usual, there's a book cover, there's a photo book, there's the ribbon bookmark, then there's a lyric leaflet, the CD, postcards, photo cards, stickers, two kind of stickers, and a poster. So lots of stuff, but very uh, normal for TXT. Also, if you can hear any noises and people talking, it's because someone is moving into my building. But yeah, we have the three versions. Uh, we have Ethereal, Romantic, and Promise. And the theme this era is orange, as it seems. Probably because of the, like, fox. If you've seen the concept trailer, we are basically doing, like, a little prince theme. So there's a lot of themes and motives from the little prince. So, like, foxes and crowns and moons and, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, there's the lyric leaflet, the CD, and then we have these postcards where you get one out of five and they're random and yeah, I'll just keep what I pull, see how many I can get, like I did with Temptation and Freefall. And then for photo cards, it is different from Freefall because Freefall they had like two sets each version. We only have one set from each version, like Temptation. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm still not done with free fall. I'm close, but it's so many cards, man. They're looking very cute. It seems like the romantic version, the one in the middle here, is kind of like a rose theme. They're holding a rose. And this seems like an outdoor concept. And this one is cute too, I think. They're of course very blurry and we haven't seen the concepts yet, so. And then we have these stickers. So it seems like you are guaranteed, ooh, sorry, hit the try, but you're guaranteed this one in each album. And then for the other stickers, you're getting one out of five. So one random member specific um, sticker set. And then we have the posters looking gorgeous. 
And then let's go back. So that's the normal photo book version. Then we of course have the Digipack kind of version. They have a new name for it each era. This era they are called the light version. It's this one. This is the member specific album. And it looks like this. Again, the orange, very prominent. So there's the package box, which is member specific. There's an album standee, which you can see it's kind of like this, where you can put up the album, which is very nice. I feel like that idea. And then we have the CD envelope, the CD postcard set. I'm sorry, it's very, very small text. Um, lyric card set, mini poster, photo cards and sticker. Okay, so I guess this is the, yeah, it's the outer packaging. It looks like this, actually, very pretty. I love these colors, this comeback. Oh wait, they're, oh, they're reversible. Ah, okay, that's smart. So this is the one you see when you're buying the album and then you can turn it around to show the specific member version. That's cool, okay, I like that because it means that you can actually show the member version when you have it displayed. That's a sleigh. Okay, a hype. I like that. And then, of course, yeah, they are member specific and you get a random member, it seems. I have joined a Go for uh, my Go manager who bought a set, so I am getting the Yandern album. And then we have the CD, which is also member specific, it seems. Can I zoom in? Oh, it doesn't really go better quality. But yeah, it seems member specific too. And then we have this postcard set where you can see absolutely nothing. I think this is considered the like photo book. So it's probably going to be some of the uh, photos from the concept that is this. We don't know what the concept is yet. Um, lyric card set. And then posters are also random. It's very usual for RTC. And then we have the photo card. It's just one version of cards. And then we got these cute stickers too. Big fan, big fan. So yeah, that's the light version. Then we have, of course, the Vibris version. As usual, as they do now. And there are two versions of the Vibris. These are kind of their like, Puka albums, QR albums, you know, you know the ones. And you get uh, envelope, card holder, sticker, stamp sticker, photo card, photo card P, QR, user guide. So yeah, all this stuff. It's cute though. It's like transparent packaging. Oh no, that's cute. Oh yeah, they are slaying this comeback. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are two versions, there's version A and version B. Which they do because of money. Uh, and then we have like a sticker. They did that for Freefall too. And then you're getting these stamps, which are cute. So cute. I really like the graphic design for this comeback. And then for the photo card, it's like Freefall, where there are two sets for each album, each album version. So you will get two photo cards, but they're probably cute. I hope. Let's see. And then we have the QR code. There are, I guess, three. One out of three, and it's random. It's probably a group card. They usually do that. Um, and that's it for the albums. So I wanted to go a little into the pre-order cards and what we have at the moment, just, you know, so you guys are informed. I found this one on Twitter. It's made by I don't know if this made by this person, but I found it by this person on Twitter. And you can see there's already a lot. This is just pre-order. So I haven't really bought a lot. <laughs> because I don't know, I don't trust that the, the pre-order cards are not going to be concept cards. And that's going to come really going to uh, fuck me over later and that I didn't get them because they're kind of cute, especially the holographic one. Mm, I don't know. I can probably buy them later. I'm not going to stress out about it. So every, the only thing I'm, I have actually claimed right now are the Viva Shop regular and light version, I think. And then I'm probably, I'm also going to get 
you know, the Vivers ones because I'm gonna buy Vivers albums. So that's, that's no biggie. And so as you can see, there's, for most of there's one for regular and light, but we are actually not sure if they're different because many of them have the exact same description. So yeah, you can read it, find it yourself on Twitter if you wanna get into all the pops, but I'm not gonna get into it. You can probably watch another video with a person who collects everything. But I, I'll just focus on my OT5 collection because that's enough for me, man. And I already made the fillers, as you can see here. Um, it's a very thick stack. It's not as big as Freefall, but it's, it's a good chunk. Let's find my binder. I actually have it right here. And then we can set up for the comeback. And I'll show you how I set up. Um, as usual, I do double spreads most of the time because I find that very satisfying. And it leaves less unused page, space on the pages. So yeah, this is the TXC binder. You can see we start with Temptation. Also, soon I will be getting him. So soon. Let's move away from Freefall. I did already put in some pages here for tomorrow, as it's called. So what I'm thinking is that on the first page, we're just going to do the photo book card. So we're going to do the ethereal romantic and promise version very easy it's so easy this era so we have the black ones here are the ethereal set i do my fillers like they match the other one and i don't know if i need to explain this but i put my fillers in the wrong way so you know, the names are hidden. That's because I turn them over when I have the card on the way. It's just for me to keep track. Also makes it e easier for storing photocards videos when I know where to put them. So, of course, then we have the engine first because I always do it by age. That's just how I do it. Also, I think it kind of makes sense since Yunjin is my vice, even though I consider myself OT5 since I consider everyone in TXT a bias. I mean, she's weird like that. Like, Yanjin is my alt of alts. He's like over everything, but I bias everyone in TXT. Taken on the other side. TXT is just uh, my everything. I am so hyped to make this album my personality. <laughs> Oh, this should be off work on the 1st of April, which is when the album comes out. So I can stream the album. I wasn't that the with chasing that feeling. I was at work. I was working. So I might film a reaction video again, just for the fun of it. Maybe try and be more expressive <laughs> this time. I think I was just so shocked with everything that I couldn't react. <laughs> So yeah, now we have the romantic version. Could be fun doing, again, a reaction video. I love doing TXT content. And we have Chelline, and then we have the Machines, Shuken. And then the last one is just, you know, an empty space. And then we have the promise version. Um, I chose like brown fillers for this because there were some brown in the album colors. So it made sense to me. And I think they also kind of match the back of the photo cards, kind of. I'll try and do that little paper and then that is the football cards again ethereal romantic promise i'm so good at this it just came out well the details not the album and i can already remember oh, the version names that's incredible okay so next part is going to be a little more difficult 
because I now have five sets left and I kind of have six rows. So we're going to leave an empty row on last one. What I did with free fall, you can turn, just kind of go back to free fall is I had, a, had the same problem where Vverse, so this is a Vverse A, this is the gravity version, which is, you know, the light version of this era. And then I had the Vverse B and then I just put a random uh, OT5 set. I'm gonna complete this, but yeah, I might do this again for this era, just, you know, get a random OT5 set and then do it like that. Oh my God. Uh, so, so these are like cards. As you saw in the album detail, it also had like orange backs, as far as we know. Supin? Wait, why do we have a Supin first? So he goes in the middle. Yunjin. Oh, wait, I'm. Also, you are not allowed to comment on my handwriting. That is a, a no-go zone. As long as you can read it, it's fine. And I can read it. Like, I don't have the best handwriting. And you can also see, like, it starts, like, really good with Yunjin because he's always the first name I write. And then with Shunin Kai, I get Slobby. Because <laughs> it's the last one. And then... And then we have the Vverse card. So I put it like here. So it's Vverse A, Yunjun A card, because there's two cards, right? So the next one is, okay, that's, you know, the first set. And then we have, again here, Vverse A, because it's the A version, but it's the second card. So it's Yunjun B. You, you get me? You get me. I don't think it's that important to do it like that, but I like order. Tuning <laughs> Kai. I'm so excited to see the concepts also. I don't know when they're coming out. I think like next week. I'm pretty sure. What's today? Today is the 8th. So I think around like the 14th, 15th is when the concept comes out. I need to download the the plan, the comeback plan, so that I can remember the dates. Because I really like to be like on top of it. I really like to have like Twitter open when they drop. Because ah, oh, I love me and TXT concepts. They always lay. The whole concept trailer was so good. It was wild. It was very cinematic. It was almost like a whole K-drama. K-fantasy. It was so well made. I was really impressed. So that was the A version. Now we're getting into the B version. Kind of the same thing. Yunjin A, B versus B, Yunjin A, and then there's gonna be a Yunjin B too. You get me? So yeah, I, I just really, really, really like the concept trailer and it really set up, I think, the, what the vibe is going to be for the comeback. Also, it got a lot of attention on the TXT comeback. I think the clips from the trailer got a lot around on Twitter and TikTok. So I think a lot of people are aware that a comeback is coming. Which is nice. We love some promotion. Also, I don't have enough um, orange fillers yet. I didn't want to cut out more. So this is just going to be blank for now. I'm going to cut out some papers at some point. Yeah. Also, their boys were so good at acting. Just like give them more acting roles. You know they can do it. Of course, they are really busy people, so can't really go around making stuff that's not related to their music right now. So here is how I set it up. Photo book. Ethereal. Romantic. Promise. Yeah. Um, 
Yeonjun, Subin, Bongyu, Taehyun, Hyunikai, Blank. You get the vision. And then, of course, here is how we did it here. So this is the B verse, A version, the A, the A set and the B set. I think we can say it like that. This is the light version. This is the B version of the, the B verse, B version. And then this is the A set and this is the B set. And then I'm going to put something OT5 down here. Something, something, something. I'm probably going to get a lot of the Weavers cards, so maybe that. And I'm going to fill out this with blank at one point. Hope everyone is excited for the album. Put it in your calendar so you remember when it comes out. Thank you for watching. I hope I helped someone get inspired to collect OT. Well, you don't need to collect OT5. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, just to get inspired to collect TST in general. Um, I hope I could give like some tips and tricks. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.